everyone. Welcome to Strip Club. Hi. We're, um, we're here in Rancho San Diego at Cozy Quilt Shop, and I'm going to show you a new pattern that uses two and a half inch strips. It is called Bob and Weave. Do you like it? Yes. We should have named it Bob and Weave. Aww. Would that have been better? Yes. But Bob and Weave is still kind of cool. It looks like kind of a weave to me. That's why I named it Bob and Weave. It's a very simple pattern. It starts with two and a half inch strips. So first thing you need is some two and a half inch strips. Look high and low on the market. They're probably out there somewhere. Find some two and a half inch strips. And in addition to the um, strips, we need a background fabric. And in this quilt, we also need accent fabric. The accent fabric makes the big plus sign and a little plus sign. Where's the little one? There's a little plus sign. You don't have to have that accent fabric. You can do without um, just by using all strips. But in this case, we are using the accent fabric. As I mentioned, it's one simple block. It's very easy. Do you want to see it? Yes. Good answer. <laughs> Wait, let me make sure it matches the picture so that I am showing you as it shows us. There you go, one simple block. So when you cut your strips, my biggest suggestion to you is to keep them many of the sizes you can cut simply by um, folding the strip in half and you get twice as many cuts. The pattern will tell you which ones are best to cut that way. You're going to cut a bunch of different shapes, some um, four and a half inches, uh, three and a half inches. The pattern will tell you how to subcut your print strips. And then of course you need some background um, fabrics which are all two and a half inch squares. So you need a bunch of two and a half inch background squares. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So you'll sew this together in rows. Here's an example of row one, which is a print, a background, and, um, oops, background is white. So there, do you see it? <laughs> white on white, right there. Okay, so that's row one. Good. Then you're gonna make row two. And you are going to sew the pieces together like this because of the way that we cut the print strips into segments. So there's row two and then row three. Row three. Are you following me? Am I doing this right? Yes. So far. <laughs> so far. Well, I rely on you to double check me. Row four. Whatever do, whatever do you mean? <laughs> like this? Yeah. And then row five. Simple as this. Sew them together by rows. Press. Sew your rows together. Get your block. Make a bunch of them. Now, I said that in this quilt there's accent fabric. In this one, there is no accent fabric. This is all prints. So in order to use the accent fabrics to get the plus, the plus signs, you simply replace this piece and this piece with accent. One and two. So you've got the long piece. When you twist your blocks, you get four of those come together to make the plus sign. And at the same time, the smaller piece, four of those come together to make the smaller plus sign. Do you see what I'm talking about with the plus? So it's one block, twisted and turn, so your rows together. Um, as laid out to create those plus signs. And then so, so your blocks together to get rows and then so your rows together to get the quilt. We also have a border one. In our case, we use the same fabric as the background. Border two, same fabric as the accent. And then border three, which I think is this terrific, large, fun floral print that pulls it all together. Easy, right? Yes. Bob and weave or bob and weave, whichever way you want to think about it. So it is, um, it's December, and honestly, December is a time where we don't get to sew a lot of the big projects. So would you like to see this quilt in a smaller project? Yes. Good answer. Here, I'm going to think thin. Same fabrics? Same fabrics, different um, color for the binding to give it, it pulls it more green than blue. No accent fabric now. See how you don't need the accent fabric? In fact, if you had it with just this simple row of um, blocks, 
you would have um, uh, an unfinished secondary design. So you, for the table runners, you do not want to have um, accent fabrics. Nice? Nice. Would you like to see another one? Yes. So really, um, <laughs> we have a, a couple to show you. <laughs> That's funny. Go Chargers, she said. So we, we really only talked, when we did our brainstorming and planning, we only talked about having two table runners and a quilt to show because we thought that'd be great. This, um, this particular pattern uses 20 strips, I believe. So the bundles of 20. Is it 20 or is it 10? You tell me. What to say? 10. Okay. So this table runner uses exactly 10 strips. What a great way to use leftover print strips. Um, and we actually have bundles of 10 um, so that you can uh, get just the 10 strips and get going on this. So the plan was just to have two. But I have another one to show you. <laughs> and the reason I have another one is, well, some of the staff went a little crazy. <laughs> they just kept going. So from the block, and from the fact that it only takes 10 strips and background fabrics, do you think this is a great little project, an easy one to churn out? Yeah. You could still get it out for Christmas, I'm just saying. So, did I say a little crazy? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? So we were only supposed to have two table runners. In fact, I do have another one, <laughs> which I think is a testament to how great the pattern is and how quickly it is to do. So if you've been um, around with us for a while, you may recognize some of these strips. Um, we had cut them down for other projects, and now we've, um, we've changed the bundles of 40 into a couple of bundles of 10 so that you can create the same effect just by buying a 10 strip bundle. But 10 is such a nice number for a bundle and for a project. Mm -hmm. Yeah? yeah? Well, oh, look, another one. <laughs> Isn't it great? Um, I believe our, uh, our go-to long arm quilter, Liz, quilted them. And I think she quilted them all at the same time. She put one backing on and then put table runner on top of table runner on top of table runner. So it all went on the frame at the same time. So that's good, right? You, that's enough? One more. One more. Come on. All right, this is it. This is really it now. There's no more after that. You could absolutely table runner quilt show. And you could get this done for, for Christmas, either at your house or if you're going somewhere as a hostess gift. Yeah. I'm just saying. OK, that, that really is it. That's good though, right? Yeah. Yes. OK, bob and weave. And uh, the primary reason we designed it was for the table runners, because I really liked this layout. I liked how quick and easy the quilt was and how terrific it was to have a small project that uses a two and a half inch strip. Do we have any questions on it? How can you have questions on this? Yes? How many different fabrics do you recommend? Like, I'm trying to count how many are in that one. It looks like we're doing 10 or 11. I bet you there are 20 different fabrics in this. Yes. Um, I bet you our bundle uses two each of 20 for, to get to 40 strips. or 40. So our bundles are 40, even though it doesn't take 40 to make that size, does it? No. It only takes 30. So 10 of them, we, 10 of the strips we won't use. This takes 17. Oh, so this is a bundle of 20. OK. Rewind. Let me re-answer your question. There's probably 17 different fabrics in here. OK, I'm hearing that that is incorrect. <laughs> Wait. OK, this just in, that we have an update. 
there are, t as I said the first time, there are 10 strips to each of the 10 to make a bundle of 20. Yeah. <laughs> I got the, the thumbs up from the producer in the back. Uh, most of the time, um, many strip bundles have, if they're a bundle of 40, they have two each of 20, or they have 40 different fabrics. I wouldn't recommend duplicating any more than three. Then it starts to look all the same. And, and the bigger the size, the more you can duplicate. The smaller the size, the less you want to duplicate. You want to have the variety in the strips. So I think each of these table runners is probably just 10 different strips. Mm -hmm. Yep. Any other questions? By the way, if you don't have strips and you want to cut your own, the magic formula is three strips from every quarter yard cut. Most quilt shops sell a minimum of quarter yard. So you can, and in, in fact, the patterns tell you how many quarter yard cuts you need mm -hmm. if you don't have your own strips. If you want to put something else together through, um, by buying the fabric at the quilt shop. It'll tell you if you need, say, um, 18 strips, you need six different fabrics, and you can get three each. Yep, the pattern already tells you that. You had a question, yes? Yes. Do you have another quilt and another pillow? Uh, you know, we have table runners. <laughs> so that's it. Did you see my <laughs> stack of table runners? <laughs> this year is about the small projects. So for the December, we have all a bunch of wonderful table runners. <laughs> But now I'm relying on you to bring me a new quilt next time for Strip Club that shows different fabrics. Okay. Yep, she said okay. It's witnessed. <laughs> it's on tape. Yes. So pot holders. A hot pad, a hot pad. So, oh, isn't that lovely? So you have the table runner, and then you have a hot pad to, in the same fabrics. Great idea. And now we've got a, a nice little square. You can easily make them. You know, that's exactly right. You can use them as bed runners. And you can make them longer, and not just a little bed, but a nice big bed. That's very stylish in the hotels. You know, very, it's all white, and then, then there's that one accent color of the, the bed runner. Very stylish. More questions or great ideas? How about we come back next month where we do another pattern that uses two and a half inch strip? Does that sound good? Yes. Thanks for coming. <laughs>